three great alliances fight to claim it. Evil awakens. A long vanished foe stirs. Those who would destroy Tamriel seek out dangers to their dark plot. And so death's long arm reaches out. It is the 582nd year of the Second Era. The drums of war are sounding. This is where our journey begins. Elsewhere, land of the Khajiit. Here, life should be good. But we suffer a thousand perils. Beneath the tyrannical rule of the Usurper Queen, our farms and villages overrun by hordes of undead. And the very land itself Set afire by a rage of dragons. Heroes emerge, ready to defend elsewhere, wielding weapons, spells, and even necromancy to claim victory at all costs. Him. Let me see if I can talk some sense into him. Who's there? How did you get in? Go. I want to be alone. Don't you recognize me, Mayor Oles? Dereneth. Thank the Divines. Sheogorath did this, all of it. He used me. And how exactly did he use you? He promised me power. The respect I deserve. But then he cursed my tongue with madness and let me make a mess of this town. You're so pitiful. Even for a mortal. What? You heard me! I've always wanted to meet a person within a person. Tell me, what's it like? Um, I'm so sorry, Sheogorath. I thought you'd abandoned me. Owly, I left you a tongue that drives people mad. But I suppose if you don't want my gift, I can take it from your mouth and give it to my new favorite mortal friend. No, think of all I've built here. The wonderful screams I've created all in your name. 
Doesn't that make me your favorite? Oh, very well. Sorry, my second favorite mortal friend. We had a good run, but it's time for your curtain. Good. You're finally coming out of it. We should reintroduce ourselves. I don't remember how I came to be here in the cell. When I woke, you were just standing there, foaming at the mouth. Count yourself lucky that Sheogorath had no desire to treat you like a puppet, unlike myself. I was in Elden Root when I heard some of the strange rumors coming from South Point. When I returned here, I recognized the signs. But when I arrived at my laboratory, Sheogorath was already there, dancing. Then I was dancing. After that, it all went dark. I saw and heard everything we did, but I couldn't affect a thing. It was a waking nightmare. My own mind, a prison. I expected him to kill us both, but we're here, aren't we? Best not to think of it. Applying logic to the mad god is... unwise. Mayor Aulus happened. He's always blamed others for his own shortcomings, but I never realized he'd been touched by Sheogorath. The only way the madness will end is with his death. He has the power to remake South Point in his image, to the Mad God's delight. Where Mayor Arlos goes, Sheogorath won't be far behind. I see no other way. Unless you convince Sheogorath to take him back to Oblivion, but arguing with the Mad God is folly. I don't see how. Those bars are thicker than sword blades. We aren't going anywhere. It seems Sheogorath made a few changes to these catacombs. There were never any prison cells below the cathedral. I already tried. It seems Mayor Orlis found my magic somehow. I'd say it's maddening, but less so than having a Daedric Prince steer you around like a carriage. When they come for us, we can try to fight our way out. If they come for us. Such despair! <laughs> Richer than a cheese sorbet! I see you've reacquainted yourself with Daraneth! Unacquainted? Unrequited! There, there. She'll come around to you, like I did. Mayor Aulus is a curd in the soup. A real fly in the way. Don't you say? Made a mess of me gift. The kind from the wrong end of a dog. I tried to encourage him. Even brought him a hero to destroy. But he couldn't go through with it. Can you imagine? I led you right here to make it all boring again. And what did he do to stop you? Nothing. There I stood, in my best old lady suit, and he said it was all my fault. Ah, he just needs motivation. What better than an escaped prisoner seeking vengeance? Could you kill someone you love? I can't. Well, I have. But not Mayor Aulus. It would be too... pedestrian. No. I want you to try killing him. I want him to reach deep down. Below all the marmalade and crushing failures defining his life. To find a seed of confidence and grow it into a tree of gumption he'll use to beat your brains to paste. But if not, any brain paste will do. <laughs> Even his. Deal. Oh, and one more thing. Daraneth stays behind. If you bore me too much, I turn her into a goose. Roast her and feed her to you covered in fine Adar glaze. The goose, I mean. It's a might be chilly for my agar pants. And make it entertaining, would you? After spending so much time in this town, I finally know where the Colovians keep their fur hats. This is your chance to fix this mess. Go, deal with the mayor. If South Point bores him, Sheogorath will leave. I'll be fine. 
there's still a chance to stop this. And after all Mayor Orlos has done, you shouldn't feel the need to hold back. Ready, board. Here, I brought you some presents. The shiny ones are off the rest. What do you say? Might we borrow your innards to settle a wager? Why, you're my new favorite martyr! Well, also you might see, but mostly haste and blood!
boredom washed it away. Really got in the cracks there. Oh, you can't seem to catch a break, can you? Chin up, just like the bridge. Adversity is the brother-in-law of propensity, as they say. Well, a proper hero needs obstacle, struggle, repeated attempts at bodily harm. You're going to play the proper hero so Owly can shine. Or our deal is off. And if it's off, so is Darineth's head. To Skyrim, in a field, with berries growing from her eyes! Do you have to lumber about like that? Show some... Show some panache! A little swagger! This just isn't your day. But your Uncle Sheyadorath can make it better. I can never decide between choice and free will. Which will triumph in the end? But why not settle the matter for me? Or you could yank a lever. But that's hardly fun for either of us. I just told you. Choice and free will are subjects I hold quite dear. So, you could fight a very good friend of mine, or you could pull another lever. Your choice. Oh, all right, but do it with gusto. Remember, with gusto, a big steaming pile of it.
Gusto, with a smidge of earth, three jots brio, the essentials for a moxie fondue. What do you mean, coming to kill me? It's a gift! A chance to shine! To prove you have some backbone that won't snap at the lightest touch! Really, Howley, I'm quite fond of you. Ooh, fondue. Uh, what was I saying? That you're fond of me. That you don't want to watch me die. Watch you die horribly. All alone. And laughing my head off when it happens. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound like me. Does it? But I'm sure you can work the matter out for yourself. Please, don't do this. Maybe we can work something out. It's not fair. I never wanted this, any of this. Now I'm to die for it. But you're reasonable, aren't you? We can talk about this, work something out. You do have a choice. Not like me. Sheo Gorath, listen to me. Said he would take me down a golden path. Nobody in South Point ever respected me or gave me a chance to prove who I could truly be. What choice did I have but to make them all see who I really am? My family ruled South Point for generations. But after we lost everything, where was my birthright then? They wouldn't bow to me as they should, so now I've made them bow. It's the burden a true leader must bear. I shouldn't have to die for it. Wait, that's it. I'll go away with him. If he'll have me, just let me try to convince him. Besides, there's not much of South Point left. It's a bit used up, don't you think? Sheogorath, I've been thinking. South Point can't truly appreciate your gift. But if you brought me to the Shivering Isles, I'd fit right in. You want to go like all the others? Where you can be a, a shank of bacon in a house built of bacon shanks. No, I mean, think of how I could use your gift in a place that truly understood me. Well, I suppose you'd make a fine addition to the garden. <laughs> Very well, the killing's off. I couldn't bring you to my home with more holes in you than when we first met. Just not proper. Thank you, Sheogorath. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see my new home. I've sent you ahead. I need a moment to speak with my second favorite mortal. But don't mind the Grumites. They always smell that way. Ah, 
choice wins again. Really tugs at the heartstrings. Careful with those. Yank too hard and the blood goes everywhere but up. <laughs> I really do admire this town. Shame I can't take it with me. Oh, but can't I? I know just where to put it. We did, did we? Huh. Well, I suppose you're right. Owly and I can always visit. Perhaps during hurricane season. <laughs> That'd be delightful. Don't be a stranger. 